Yo guys and welcome back and today we are talking everything Street Fighter 5 uh, Street Fighter 5 Champion Edition to be more precise Now a lot of people what know me will probably think oh he likes Capcom Street Fighter is his favourite game he's probably going to blow smoke up their ass. Nah, nah Let's take it back right to the start and Street Fighter 5 release Now man where do we start? For one, we had no story, arcade, anything like that. Um, it, it was released with just verses, which I can remember when I first bought it, I was like, wait, shit, we can only like play this thing online or like local against us pals? That, that was just, that was just, shit was just insane. Some of the usual characters were in there, Ken, Ryu, Chun Li. I didn't really care a lot for any of the other characters, what was on launch. And I was kind of bummed out by it. The game, it felt like you was getting like a half-finished game. And it just didn't do anything for me. And of course, obviously, the online has never been great. But we'll talk about that later. Then sort of like the the seasons start coming out. And I, by this time, I'd lost a lot of interest with Street Fighter Five, And I mean a lot of interest as in right from the start. And I didn't really pick the game up again until I would say probably Akuma was released. It would have been about that time. I found him fun. Um, he's always been one of my favourite characters, so I was going to spend a bit of time with him. Then, of course, we start getting the story, arcade mode, which breathes a lot more life into the game. Uh, the story... Mm, I think they could, the, some of the story modes they could have left out. I think I think it's pretty useless. I think if they'd have just given us a pretty decent arcade for each individual character would have been gone down a hell of a lot better, uh, personally, anyway. Then the obviously we've got the introduction of, I think, Season 2, Season 3. Along the way, the uh, extra V skill came in, which added a, a lot more depth to the game, I felt. And I, 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 I was out with this game, I was done. Um, until recently, probably about, well, probably around about the Christmas period, I think it was, when... They started talking Street Fighter V Champion Edition. And they showed off some gameplay footage of, I think it was Gil, I saw. And I watched a few YouTube videos of people playing Gil. And I thought, hmm, looks interesting. So I, I actually picked the game back up. Recently bought Champion Edition. And obviously you get the full roster. So it's great to obviously play with all the characters what I missed out on. But I've found... Gil and Seth, really fun characters to play as. Seth in particular, spent quite a bit of time back online playing with Seth. Uh, some of the moves, the combos, man, are just really interesting. Uh, and it really got my interest back into the game. And from that, I've started playing a few of the older characters, which I've enjoyed, although I think I still think Seth and, and Gil are probably up there with my favourites. G is another good character to watch. I, I, I've seen a lot of people play. Um, a lot of people I watch on YouTube will play uh, G. A lot of people hyped him up. Uh, I do like his style. I think he's a completely different style of character to what they had in the game before. And I think around the time when G came came out, it sort of brought the life back into Street Fighter Five again, which is you know which is always a good thing. The Champion Edition. I think, let's face it, this game is what we should have had years ago when it first came out. Like many producers, like many developers these days, they seem to have, the Capcom seem to have fell into the trap that, you know, we can bring out a game what's half done. And then we'll bring out all these patches. What drive me insane. But then again, that's modern day gaming. We can't get away from that, and that's a different story for another time. Uh, but I think how Street Fight, how they've left Street Fighter Five now, is possibly in you know the best state it's ever been. I mean, it's going to be. It couldn't get any worse, really. Uh, as I say, you've got all the characters. They've got all the V skills. You now got the story. You've got the arcade mode for each character. And there's some interesting characters in there now. If you'd have asked me, would I have bought Street Fighter V at launch? Absolutely not. 
would I buy Street Fighter 5 now champion edition absolutely I think it's a great addition to the series as it is now it feels like a finished product it feels like Street Fighter 5 is done in a way uh, with possible I don't know Street Fighter 6 maybe on the way and let's hopefully start that one off better than the last one but then Street Fighter mainly has always been about fighting not necessarily against a computer it's always been about online fighting with your pals and let's chat a little bit about the online the online Street Fighter 5 the netcode has never been great uh, some of the matches I can remember when I used to play it back in the day were a little bit skitchy you know you'd, you'd end up people like teleporting from here there all over the screen from one side of the screen to the other people jumping in the air fireball projectiles appearing and yeah shit and then before you know it, it's KO you down on the floor not an enjoyable experience another reason why I really ditched the game a few months after playing it after release but they have worked on it along the way you do still get i mean obviously we had all the you know all the farce with i think it was a fan what created like some sort of code what they implemented into the game and it made it run perfect to anyone what actually downloaded the code and implemented it and then capcom came along with an announcement uh, not too long back actually and it was okay we're going to do something with the online we're going to fix it and everyone's like shit yeah and then everyone's like, shit, no. Because all they seem to do was actually remove anything of the patch from the fan-made one. And they stripped it back to what it was before, basically. Now, I've spoken to a few people who I know still play the game quite regular. Some people, for them, it's been fine. And they seem they've seen an improvement. Others are still saying they're getting like glitchy games where people are still flashing around all over the screen, warping. Uh, for me, I'm kind of in the middle. It's been a little bit mediocre. Some of the games I've played have been okay. And then the next day I can go on and obviously it's like so fucking frustrating. And that's the thing what really did it for me with uh, Street Fighter V. Just the consistency of the online. And as I know a lot of people have got gripes out there about the online. And another reason why a lot of people ditched the game and have dropped it. I have a lot of bad things to say about it. At this current state... As I've said, I think Street Fighter Five is a great uh, champion edition. is a great package. Uh, as I say, you've got all the co again, you've got all the costumes, you've got all the characters, you've got access to you know all the new V, sk v skills, what they brought out, um, and it is the finished product. So, I think you know. Let's give them credit. I know we're hating a little bit, but let's give them credit where it's due. Um, I think the, the latter characters, what they brought out, really brought, breathed a lot more life back into the game um, and made it more exciting to play. And I would also say for, for your neutral type of players, you know, not your hardcore fighting fans, but people who just want to pick up a, a good fighter, if you pick up Street Fighter Five Champion Edition, you are getting what it says on the tin. You know, it, it, everything's in there. You just have to bear with the online. Um and, and who knows, I think Street Fighter Five is done now. I think probably Seth was the last character that was going to do. I haven't heard anything on the horizon of anything else coming out regarding uh, Street Fighter Five. And, you know, it's still a massive esports fighting game. Probably, well, the biggest. Are we going to hear anything regarding Street Fighter Six soon? I would like to think so. There's a couple of games I would like Capcom to work on in the meantime being a massive Power Stone fan, Capcom if you're listening, and also MVC2 being at Evo, are we going to see some sort of HD remake, or some sort of version of it, or are we going to even see him possibly try and do another Marvel vs. game, I think that's very uh, unlikely, but we could always keep his fingers crossed, so hey, bottom line, Street Fighter V, is it worth it, the current state now, yes, if you'd have played it at the start, you probably won't buy Champion Edition now because you've probably already ditched the game. All I would say is, um, if you can pick it up now, I think it's a quite a decent price on Steam on the PC um, and obviously on the PlayStation 4. So would I recommend Street Fighter Five Champion Edition um, in the state it is in now? Absolutely. Um, for for the people who have probably dropped it from the start after playing Street Fighter Five and possibly put off 
more your casual players, I would say, a bit like myself, then the update, I would say, is definitely worth it with all the characters. Uh, there's still a lot of fun to, fun to have it had in the game. Uh, online is not going to change. Uh, it's just one of those things you have to bear with, unfortunately. And who knows, Street Fighter Six, we might get a glimpse of. Soon? Please, Capcom. Just don't mess this one up. Oh, we dropped him. Silly. 